for several months, the CDC has consistently been warning all of us of the serious health complications and high risk of death among seniors over the age of 65 if they get infected with COVID-19. We've seen the statistics prove this to be true with nearly 79% of total COVID-related deaths impacting elderly Americans over 65. Here in Hawaii, our kupuna have been most devastatingly impacted by COVID-19, suffering serious health complications as well as loss of life. Now, recent uh, vaccines have been scientifically established to prevent these serious health complications and death if one is infected. However, it has not been scientifically established that the vaccines prevent the transmission of the virus. So the science points to prioritizing the delivery of vaccines to our kupuna over 65 years of age before providing it to others who are under 65 and not frontline healthcare workers like doctors, nurses, and EMTs. Our kupuna should not have to compete for the limited supply of vaccines with the tens of thousands of younger healthy people who've been categorized as essential workers. Essential workers could mean anything from liquor store employees to lawyers to somebody working at the phone company. Furthermore, while it has been scientifically established that the COVID vaccines are highly effective in preventing those who get the vaccine from developing severe life-threatening symptoms, it has not been scientifically established that the vaccine is effective in preventing those who get the vaccine from transmitting the disease to others. So vaccinating large numbers of people under 65 could easily put our kupuna at even greater danger if they have not already been vaccinated. This is because those who have been vaccinated may mistakenly believe that because they've gotten the vaccine that they will not be able to transmit the disease to others, to their loved ones. I recently saw a KITV interview with a young first responder that really illustrated this danger. Uh, this first responder had just gotten the vaccine and was very excited saying, finally, we'll be able to actually go and be with our families again without fear of making their own family sick while trying to take care of everyone else. So you see clearly how vaccinating young people before our seniors could be catastrophic. A recent New York Times article quoted a, a Dr. Maldonado who pointed very directly to this danger. He said, vaccinated people who have a high viral load but don't have symptoms would actually be in some ways even worse spreaders because they may be under a false sense of security. So in short, the argument that we have to choose between helping slow the spread of the disease by vaccinating uh, tens of thousands of essential workers versus preventing more deaths amongst our seniors is false. In fact, vaccinating large numbers of young people before our seniors will likely hasten the spread of the disease. So the only way to prevent this disaster mm -hmm is by vaccinating the approximately 46,000 frontline healthcare workers and first responders here in Hawaii and those over the age of 65 before vaccinating the approximately 160,000 or so younger people designated as essential workers. And by making sure every single individual who gets the vaccine knows that that vaccination will not prevent them from being able to infect others. So Governor Ige, Lieutenant Governor Green, do the right thing and please take these necessary actions to implement these policies.